Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's How To In this video, I'll be showing you on this Stelio.com review. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. So you might be wondering, is Stelio.com here worth it for you? Is it right for you? Well, there are a few things here that you may want to know. So let's say you're running a website, managing content, or even like selling on Amazon here. You probably don't think much about taking regular screenshots of your pages, right? But that's where Stelio comes in. And in this case, trust me, once you see what it does, it suddenly becomes way more appealing than you actually expect. Now, Steel.com is an automated website screenshot tool, so it captures and archives visual snapshots here of any web page you choose, whether it's your own site, a competitor's, or something like Google search results, or a product page on Amazon. Now, think of it as your digital paper trail here. Everything you or someone else posts can be automatically documented without you lifting a finger after setup. So how do we get started here on Studio? So first things first is you want to go ahead and go to studio.com here and you want to go ahead and basically click on the try for free button here. Now if you're not aware yet, you can actually try Studio here for free. You don't have to, uh, in this case, pay for anything first. So yeah, so in this case, we want to go and just fill out some necessary details here in order for us to get started. So that includes you uh, registering here. Let's go ahead and click on register at the top right here. And you just need to provide your name, work email, password that you want to use, confirmation of that password, and your time zone. And you also need to accept their terms of service and privacy policy. But let's go and just provide those details and click on register. Now, once you've created your account here, it's going to say, please check your inbox for a verification email. So let's go, let's go ahead and just see that or look at that. Now, to be speaking, this is what it's going to look like. Let's go open up Stelio support and just click on activate your account in order for us to start using our account here for Stelio. So this might take a while, so let's just wait for it. So you can see it's now verified. Now, they are going to ask you a bunch of questions here, so go ahead and just answer appropriately here. And once you've answered here or answered all the questions, let's click on click to start. Now, from here, this will redirect you to your dashboard or Stelio home. Now, the great thing about Studio here is the UI is really simple. Now, at the very center here, you have the option to add your web page. And also at the top right here, you have your documentation. So if you want to learn more on how to use Studio, or if you have any questions or just wondering how this specific feature works, well, you'll have the, the doc documentation page here, which in this case, you should be able to do, uh, read different articles or documents here that you may want to know if you really want to fully utilize Studio. Now, as you can see, there's a knowledge base here. You can search for certain topics or certain features here. Now, also, you have what's new, which in this case gives you the updates that you actually implemented in the platform, or, or in this case, in the software, and basically keeping you updated on what's the new features. Now, at the top right, you now have your profile photo or your profile account here, which in this case allows you to view your settings, even upgrade your account, contact them, or even log out. Now, if you want to add a website, just click on add your first website here. And from here, we just need to provide the URL, the title, and also the capture frequency, either every day, every week, every month, or in this case, a specific, uh, uh, in this case, way or a specific day or how many you are, uh, the capture fre frequency here. Also, you have the starting at, so if you want to start in a specific date or now, and also add tags here, but this is just optional. Now, if you want to turn on expert mode here, which in this case, if you want to use advanced settings and an understanding of web development techniques, is required to use some of these settings here. So in this case, if you know how to use web development, you may want to turn this on. As you can see right now, you could go and just uh, uh, add a certain uh, features here, like the location, the time slot, the clicks here, or if you want to hide like, certain elements here. But yeah. So you can just turn this uh, off if you're not familiar with that. It doesn't really matter. But once you've added all the details, just click on save, we save web pages here. In this case, uh, Stay will start uh, taking screenshots. But yeah, so this is something pretty cool here. The great thing about Studio is everything is really, really simple. And once you've added your website here, as you can see here now, you can just freely view uh, whatever they capture here. Let's go open it up. And as you can see, you should be able to see different screenshots in here. Now, depending on the frequency that you set up in here, you will have uh, a number of photos in stored in that specific website. Now, you could also pause this one just in case if you want to. You can even download the uh, screenshots, edit it, share it, delete it, or if you want to add, like receive email notifications, go ahead and turn this on as well. Now, I might be wondering uh, why I use Stelio here. So one of the biggest reasons people use Stelio is for website compliances. Now, these days, everything you publish on your website, blog, even like social media, is read as an official statement here. Now, if you're a business or agency, you might be required to prove that 
what content you publish and when. So Slate lets you automatically capture screenshots of your pages at specific intervals, like daily, weekly, and our or whatever here we chose, like what we saw before. And you can store those images straight to Google Drive or Dropbox here, which makes it super easy to access them later. This is especially useful if you work with ad uh, uh, advertisers. If they ever question whether you uh, or not you posted their content, you can show them a timestamped screenshot of proof here. So no more back and forth debates. And also, if you want to track your competitors, this is going to be really, really helpful. Now, onto something really powerful here, uh, if, uh, competitor monitoring here. Let's just say your rival suddenly launches a 20% discount, updates uh, their web uh, homepage design, and promotes a new product here. But still, you can capture daily screenshots of their site and keep a visual history of changes every or over time. It's perfect for spotting pricing trends here, marketing shifts, or even like offers they're testing. So it's not limited to homepage. You can track entire web uh, websites using site, uh, site map features and want to monitor multiple competitors up once, you can just add them all in. So still will quietly do the rest in the background. And uh, yeah, also you can actually use this for SEO and Google search uh, tracking. So another clever use here is Google search results monitoring. So if you're working on SEO, you can have still like take screenshots of each term to see whether your website or your clients here appear uh, is appearing from or in top positions. It even shows which ads are running and who's bidding on which keywords over time and creates a visual report of your SEO performance on your competitor's visibility. But yeah, so honestly, still is one of those tools you don't uh, realize you need until you actually do. Whether it's for compliance, documentation, or uh, in this case, competitive research. Uh, as you can see right now, you have like sitemaps and tags in here. But yeah, so it quite keeps records of everything you care uh, care about online. It saves a lot of manual uh, manual work here. So you could try it out for free and connect to Google Drive or Dropbox for easy storage here. But once it's actually set up, it just runs like your personal website time machine. But yeah, so in this case, that's about it. So. Uh, hopefully this video was able to help you and if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video